let's talk about how to make a change. You may not even know what public service is, but here's the thing. The world of public service is huge and there are places for everyone's different skills and talents. You can work inside a government agency designed to help our country, or you can work in the nonprofit space, providing direct community aid or even applying pressures to those same government systems to change them from the outside. In public service, there's a way you can fit in and make the change that you want to see. So today, we're going to show you just a little slice of all the different things you can accomplish through a career in public service. Who goes into a public service career? Some people know they want to help others from a young age, but sometimes something unexpected tugs at you and influences you to change your path. You might have found this video because you're feeling a similar tug. For producer Scott Budnick, who made The Hangover, Hollywood life wasn't fulfilling his desire to help others. So he made the leap into activism where he now advocates for formerly incarcerated populations. When I went into juvenile hall for my first time and met 14-year-olds like this kid David and asked him, how was your week? And he said, it was a real bad week. I just got sentenced to 300 years to life. And I'm sitting in there and like, not only do I have white privilege, but I have movie producer privilege. And I knew if like that was my kid, he would have the best lawyer in Los Angeles. He would be bailed out before he spent a night in jail. And he wouldn't be sitting there for two years facing this case. He'd be sleeping in the comfort of his bed because money buys justice, right? I remember sitting on a mountaintop in Vegas on Hangover 3, and like this would be like where everyone on earth would want to be, right? Bradley Cooper, Zach Galifianakis, the director, the cameras, the lights, the everything. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, why am I here? I ended up leaving the business, taking a 90% pay cut, starting ARC, and it was hands down the best five years of my life. This is the Anti-Recidivism Coalition, so our mission is obviously like, no more people going back to prison. So when someone comes home, there's a whole community to welcome them and to love them and anything from housing to mentorship to careers to anything that someone needs when they come home from prison, leading with directly impacted people, which the vast majority of our staff are, and just like showing their heart and showing their change and showing the impact that they can make on the world. The way it changes people in terms of how they see folks who once might have been a gang member or a criminal or a drug dealer or whatever it may be, to see who they are today, I think that storytelling piece is key. In order to push for policy change like Scott's organization does, you need people on the ground leading grassroots movements. So if you want to be one of those people and you love community organizing or even just great storytelling, you might be interested in a career in community engagement. By day, I'm Director of Community Engagement for the Transgender Justice Initiative at the Human Rights Campaign. My work is centered around trans people, black people, and people who are living with HIV. And I coined a title a few years ago, Health and Equity Consultant, for the work that I do Amazing. everywhere. There's nothing that says that I should have made it. I'm black, I'm overweight, I live in the South, I'm transgender. You know, I could go on and on with my different intersectional identities. And the fact that I am succeeding, it is selfish of me not to use my privilege to help others as well. I think for many of us, particularly those of us who are multiply marginalized, access and opportunities are two of the things that keep us from success. And so if myself and others are able to provide greater opportunities, that's more access. It's one of our fundamental rights as Americans, the right to an attorney. But what happens when you can't afford one? That's where legal aid lawyers come in, providing a public service by making sure that everyone, no matter how much money they have, has the right to representation. For our clients who come in, they don't pay anything. It's not a sliding fee scale, it's none of that. The services we provide are absolutely free to them. We provide services in a wide variety of areas, but it's all civil. So everything from evictions, landlord-tenant problems, to I didn't get my food stamps, or how much in food stamps should I be getting? Because I was so strong in my belief that 
the reason I was doing this was to be able to help those who wouldn't be able to get the help otherwise. That just stayed strong on my angel side. The other side would be like, oh, but you can make a lot more money <laughs> or you could do this. And I'd be like, mm, nah, nah, not me. This is probably one of the most well-known public service jobs, but we still wanted to cover it because it's so impactful. Plus, within the world of firefighting, there are tons of specializations, from inspectors to public information officers. And if you love leading people, maybe you'd like to someday be a fire chief, like Reginald Freeman. Well, my name is Reginald Freeman. I am the fire chief for the city of Oakland, the 37th fire chief. I was only in the fire service for roughly five years before I became a chief officer. Obviously, it's fast paced, you know, being a Metro fire chief. At 37 years old in Hartford, I was sworn in as the youngest fire chief in the country. Yeah. And now at 42, here in Oakland, I'm still the youngest Metro fire chief in the country. That's <laughs> amazing. It's a profession to where you get to serve and be of service and to uphold the patch and the badge in an honorable fashion. Uh, there's nothing like it. I'm very passionate about people and passionate about serving. And to be a firefighter, you have to, you have to be passionate of both. So it was a perfect fit for me. If you know you want to make a difference, but don't know where to start, you may want to look into AmeriCorps. Since 1993, this government agency has helped volunteers and service members across the country get connected with nonprofit, faith-based, and community organizations who need help to tackle local problems. The work is wide-ranging, but it can help you find your niche in service, like Victoria Huang, who found a surprising new interest. Community Rebuild is sustainable construction, building houses for underserved people or people that are close to getting a home but just can't afford that expense. Currently, I'm an apprentice with Community Rebuilds, doing like this AmeriCorps position with them. This past June is when I was placed here to work on like sustainable and like natural building. I wanted to just be involved with the housing crisis in America. This organization works for that in a safe and sustainable way. The work is meaningful and the people that it draws, that's the people that I want to be with. We've only scratched the surface of what's possible in public service, but hopefully these career paths have shown you that there are endless ways to use your unique skills and create real change. To explore more career options in public service, Check out our new documentary series, Serving Change, now streaming for free online. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. See you later.